What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to The Office. Michael here. Today is Thursday. I've got five orders going out uh, today. Uh, is that right? No, I'm missing one. Oh, no, I got them all here. <laughs> I do have five orders going out today. I just miscounted. Um, let's see. Let's start with this. I already had this packaged up, but this is a lot of five uh, like rhythm games. So Guitar Hero, Rock Band, DJ Hero... I don't know what else. Um, they came out of that giant like 70 game lot I bought um, that came with the PlayStation off uh, Facebook Marketplace a couple weeks ago. Um, there was just a handful in that lot. Obviously, I don't have any of the controllers or anything like that. And so I just kind of lotted them up, put them up for 20 bucks, got an offer for 17 within about two hours of listing it. Um, went ahead and accepted that. So that actually sold... I didn't expect it to sell anytime soon at all. So the fact that it sold that quickly, I'm really happy with. Um, I picked up this uh, Lego set sealed, the Hobbit uh, Riddles of for the Ring. Riddles for the Ring. Um, <clears throat> I picked this up last weekend actually at a garage sale for three dollars. This sold within an hour of listing it uh, for uh, nineteen ninety nine. Um, the comps, the sold comps on this were like fifteen to twenty ish. So I put it on the high end. Uh, what I didn't notice was that the listed uh, items were all like 35 or and up, basically. 35 kind of seemed to be the, the middle of them. And some of those were used and opened and put together. So I probably could have got 25 or 30 for it in hindsight. But um, no, I, who knows? Uh, I'm happy with it. It sold right away. $3 into $20. I'm never going to be upset about that. Um, that's going through um, global shipping, too. So I don't know offhand where that's going, but it's going somewhere. Um, I wasn't wasn't paying attention to what I was doing. I already boxed this up. Um, this was a, a Funko Pop. It was a Mysterio Pop from Spider-Man Far From Home? Homecoming? What was the last one? Far From Home was the last one, right? I think it was Far From Home. Whichever one had Mysterio in it. Uh, this came out of Marvel Collector Core last summer. I don't know, July probably of last year. Um, took an offer on that. $16 plus shipping. I also sold this uh, Hot Topic exclusive Back to the Future Marty McFly. Um, it, this this goes to show how much I'm over Funko Pops. I was so stoked when this came out. And I, I actually bought two of them and I've now sold them both. Um, but I like ran out to Hot Topic to buy this the day that it released. And it is a really cool pop. I mean, it's very, it looks like Michael J. Fox. They have the detail on it is really, really nice. Um... Funko's kind of funny like that. Sometimes they'll be like way over the top with detail and sometimes there'll be no detail at all. It just depends on, I don't know, how motivated or committed the uh, artist happens to be. Um, I think this sold for 18 bucks, if I remember correctly, plus shipping on top. And then I sold this uh, quilting book. Uh, this came out of a bunch of stuff my mom gave me to sell. Most of it didn't have any value. Um... But uh, this one had a little bit. had this listed for $10. It's not in great condition. Um, it's kind of bent and beat up a little bit. Got an offer for $7.50. I went ahead and took it, plus shipping on top. So happy with that. That's it. It's going out today. Did a lot of listing uh, yesterday and today. I got a lot of my death pile cleared up. Um, you guys saw a little bit of that earlier in the video. Um, and we made some more progress today. In fact, I'll just show you. Um, it's... Uh, like there were, I think there was a box on top of that. That's gone. There was a box right here. That's gone. These are all the Star Trek figures. Um, I think the Xboxes were out of here yesterday. So you guys have seen that. Uh, you'll notice, maybe you can see, I don't know if you can see over there, but um, the, um, the Funkos are starting to get to a point where I think I might be able to consolidate at least one. Oh, let me put the camera on me, my bad. <laughs> Uh, where I might, I might be able to consolidate at least one box um, and get one of those boxes out of there, which would be awesome. Um, there's a couple other things. I'm just looking around. There's a couple other things here and there that I can uh, definitely consolidate and uh, and clean up a little bit. Um, so over the course of this weekend, we should be able to really get this cleaned up uh, or at least get it picked up off the floor i guess so i actually have room to to operate in here so um that's it that's it for today not bad uh, what do we got uh 17 well that'd be 37 42 we'll say 30 so 75 dollars ish 
uh, on the day. So not bad, not bad, not great, but not bad. Um, our listings are, um, we're over 300 active listings as of right now, uh, which is, um, pretty cool, actually pretty, pretty cool. So, um, we should see, sorry, we should see some things start to move here. Um, over yeah, in my experience it takes about a week usually from when I list it or when I do a lot of listing by the fourth or fifth day, um, I start to see quite a bit, uh, going. So looking forward to seeing if that plays out. That'll be the end of this one. That's actually gonna be the end of this week now that I think about it. So, uh, we'll see you all on Monday. Um, there's only, I think four garage sales this weekend, four or five, although one of them is a community sale. So theoretically there should be, you know, multiple houses in the, in the cul-de-sac or whatever. Um, so probably not a lot. Well, maybe who knows? I was gonna say probably not a lot of sourcing this weekend, but you never know. You might hit the mother load at one of them. Um, and the auction this week, as a matter of fact, let's, let's do a live look in on the auction. Uh, because I have been getting pretty outbid. Let's see. There's three days left, three days in change. So it ends on Sunday and I'm still winning one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten lots. And I'm, as of right now, willing to bid up. Man, there was a, a really nice Cutco knife set in a block. And I was paying up for it at 150 and, you know, and still being able to make money on it. And it's our, it's over 300 right now. It's crazy. I mean, it's, you know, if you're going to keep them, it's worth it. But if you're going to resell them, I don't think it's there. Um, based on the comps that I looked at. Um... I'm not going to go in on that anymore. Is there anything else I'm willing to rebid on? Oh, there's a Pioneer receiver that I might, depending on what, right now it's sitting at $42 and I'm willing to go up on that if it doesn't go much higher. So we might get back in on that. Um... And there's, um, there's a toy lot that I'm, I'm still winning, but it's at my max bid. Uh, I will watch that one closely because three of the toys in there sell for a hundred dollars or more on eBay. So I'll, um, potentially have to, uh, pay up for that if I want to get it. Everything else is really high. And like the ones, even a lot of the ones I'm winning, like it's at my max or at least the max that I put in. And I don't think I'm willing to go any higher on really any of these. So may not be any auction wins this week either. Um, maybe one or two. We didn't have any last week. I got up it on everything and I just let it go. So we shall see. Appreciate you guys. Like, subscribe, share, comment down below, all that good stuff. I'll see you next time.